Oh, that's beautiful. So let's return. Let's come back. But go ahead, hold on to this feeling. Hold on to it. And if you'd like, you can go back later and rejoin your soul. I guarantee you have a lot of past lives and wonderful soul family that would love to hang out with you. Sometimes I'll go up to my soul and I'll hang out with my past lives. And then I'll reach out to my soul family and I'll say, okay, we're having a pirate party. And all of my past lives that were pirates will hang out with all of my soul family's past lives that were pirates. And we just have a blast. And you're like, okay, now let's find all of the uh, religious you know, like the ones who are monks and nuns and this and that, and they all get together and they have like huge theological conversations, everything from like, you know, the old shamans to the, the like, of course, it's not just one belief or I'll say, okay, you know, all the farmers, let's get all you guys together. It's a lot of fun playing with your soul and all the lives you were you know, before this one. The funny thing is, like I've led a lot of soul regressions, like thousands of, of past life regressions. And I've done like, you know, I don't know, over a thousand past life readings. Um, Whenever we experience a past life, the karmic lessons of that life, if they're resolved, you don't feel anything about them. Like I had this one past life, I was so bad. I like killed a lot of people because I was like a petty little cutthroat thief kind of alcoholic drug addict but I was so bad I was so bad all I did was like and I was like completely immoral I was just like the worst but when I go back and I visit that life oh I'm so glad that that was wonderful things when I go back and I visit that life and I see all the bad things he did I'm like oh my god that's so bad you hurt so many people but I don't feel like ashamed for myself because that's not me that was a past life that's not me in this life so i guarantee when i'm done with this life all of the issues that i'm like oh no one will love me oh my soul's gonna like be so mad at me or whatever i guarantee when i'm in my next life looking back on this life i'll go god she was so weird i can't believe she was so hung up on those issues like it is okay for us to completely forgive ourselves so long as we learn our lessons. That's the thing. You have to learn your lesson. Once you learn your lesson and you know you've learned it because you're no longer in any way emotionally invested in it. So if you are torturing yourself, and we all do, once you complete the karmic lesson, you're like, oh, boy, that used to be such an issue for me. But now, um, so glad to have that behind me. What's the next lesson? Oh, man, that's my next lesson. <laughs> like, when I was in second grade, there was a particular sneaker all the kids were wearing. Well, no, actually, my mom was always ahead of fashion a bit. So she bought me these sneakers. And I thought they were ugly and I wouldn't wear them. And then uh, I, uh, she gave them away to someone. That was it. I was in second grade. She gave them away. And then like a month later, it was all the rage. All the kids were wearing them. And I wanted the sneakers. I was such a brat. I'm like, I need these sneakers. Everyone's got them. Everyone's got them. Oh. My mother's like, I bought them for you. You know, it's not like we were super wealthy and had sneaker money just lying around on the kitchen counter so I never got to wear these super cool sneakers that everyone was wearing and oh uh, my god it killed me or like right now I'm over it I learned the lesson 
if you do not when you may, when you will, it shall be nay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, you know, I'm like, okay, it doesn't affect me anymore that I never got to wear those little sneakers. I bought them many years later and they were fun. They were cool. And people go, oh, I remember when those were the rage like 20 years ago. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> okay. So um, everything that's an issue for you now, at a certain point, it won't be an issue. So you don't need to treat it like it has power over you. You can treat it like, hmm, why don't I sort of think about my life in the future when you're not even here? And then future me can come back and deal with you and release you. Because you're kind of a wet blanket and you're ruining the party for me. So we just did this wonderful calling out. You know, we did two wonderful calling outs. Like, you guys, get ready. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> so... Right. And we've also learned that we're never really alone because we're always connected to our soul, our past lives, our soul family. Like there's all of these wonderful friends that we're like, we don't even acknowledge them. And they're like, hey, what are we, chopped liver? Like, I'm your soul. How can you not want to hang out with me? <laughs> you know? So we have all these friendships and connections and your soul wants you to learn your karmic lessons and to have fun. You know, like if your soul is your project manager, any of you who have ever had to oversee a group, do you really want them to be miserable? No, they got to do the work, but you want them happy, right? So some of our life lessons, our karmic challenges are hard. But when we get through the karmic lesson, there's always some relief, some joy, some like feeling really good. And you feel how you've evolved as a person. I am better now than I was before. I am more aligned with myself than I was before. I am happier now than there's always a something that you get as a, a reward for getting through your karmic lesson. Just like when you're at work, your project manager is like, no, you have to finish this. But then when it's done, there's a reward. Even if that reward is good, I won't fire you. <laughs> that was my reward too often. Um, so what I'd like you to do right now is think about, we've just done these beautiful callings out. We've connected with our soul, our past lives. We've realized we've got a whole tribe up there that's like wants to hang out with us. And we put the call out to the world, to those that we're already bonded with through love and through our acknowledgement with the tapping that we deserve fun, loving, kind people to come into our lives. These are like two different calling cards that we put out there, but they're both very effective. So now I want you to take a moment. And of course, keep releasing anything that rises up at any time. <laughs> Anytime any unnecessary shows up, go through the acknowledge, conversation, release, whatever you need to do. But think about your life path. You know, you've got time left before this life is over. How much time? I don't know. But for most of us, we got a good chunk of time left. We have a path ahead of us. Think about your life path. Where you would like it to go. And it's okay if every time you imagine your life path, you're imagining something different. Like you can say, I imagine my life path going forward to global travel. I want to go to New Zealand and France and, you know, Iceland and, you know, South Africa. And so, like, we already know, okay, so this COVID has to get under control before we can physically go anywhere. 
of course, we can always go places electronically. You know, you can watch things on the internet. You can make friends on the internet. You can apply for jobs, you know, on the internet or like do volunteer work. Like you can connect through the internet. You can connect through your heart at this moment. And then invite all of these wonderful people you called to. This is a life path I'm planning. Why don't you meet me on it? And imagine this particular path you planned and all of these wonderful people showing up and this beautiful soul relationships, friendships, romance, kindredness, successful business, all of them populating your life path. And then you can sit and go, okay, well, that was great. And now I'm planning a life path where, and then like you can plan a thousand life paths. It is okay. Um, here, can you do an EFT manifestation protocol for life path itself? Yes. Being on your life path? Yes. Yes. With EFT, you, this is to help like you notice with the EFT, you start out with this is what I want. And then these are all the things that like prevent it from happening. Like, oh, do I deserve it? And then they're like, yeah, I do. And here's reminders of why and how. And then, you know, we reach out and we connect. So it's, as I said, the manifestation process is very basic. It's just the techniques that change. So absolutely, tapping for your life path is great. At this moment, though, I'm inviting you to again relax for a moment. And we're going to dream a few life paths. I'm saying three, but who knows? A few life paths. Even if you know your life path, that's okay. You can play with life paths because you never know what will happen. So, Look at where you are at your moment, this moment in your life. You know, whatever is your daily occupation, your physical location, your schedule, your agenda, you know, all of that. And this is not an ego look. This is purely, you know, um, structural. And... So you know where you are. And then think about a dream of where or who or what you want to be. Whatever you want. Maybe your dream is, I want to travel to other dimensions and meet more collectives. Maybe your dream is, I want to have a very successful business or get my dream job. Or maybe it's, I just want some really, really good friends that we can go on picnics together. Pick any dream you like, any dream at all. And allow yourself to walk from this life right into the heart of that dream. A little bit of daydreaming. Just imagine, like, a day or a week, a year, a month, a moment in this dream. Don't worry about justifying or technicalities or anything. Just enjoy, wallow in it. Everything is taken care of. Now, bring this dream back to you, right into your heart, as though at this moment, you're not in your life now, you are in your dream, both in your heart and all around you. You are in the dream. Feel it in you. Let it just sort of take over. And 
And again, if you feel any blocks, acknowledge them, release them. For these blocks are the things that need a little support or a little uh, get going because they are not in the frequency for your dream. Again, there's no ego about this. It's just a matter of energetic compatibility. If these blocks, these frequencies are not compatible with this dream, then they can step aside so that this dream can work. Now, I want you to imagine walking forward towards this dream or with this dream and invite, just invite your soul friends, your soul family, your new good friends who are in harmony with the frequency of the beautiful fruition of this dream to join with you either here and now or wherever on the path they fit. Just relax, allow the dream to unfold itself. Allow the people to show up in whatever way they do. And allow yourself to receive their heartfelt friendship and support, their excitement as you go forward on this path. You see how your life becomes better and their lives become better for this connection. Oh. That's nice. Now, invite this path and this dream to remain. But now bring your focus back to yourself where you are here and now. And you may find the energies within you have shifted a little bit in a lighter way or a more grounded way, you may find little like spring flowers rising up, little spring crocuses in a yard of like inspiration. So let's look at a, another life path manifestation. Something else you would love to happen, be it focused on friendships or a life goal or a dream, a vision. Perhaps you would like to sing a song in a cabaret or write a book or have some interesting career opportunity, go hiking somewhere, whatever it is, whatever it is. Invite it to again, appear ahead of you.
you're ahead of you in your path. Just see it happen. And again, invite this vision to come down the path into you, to fill you up. If there's anything you need to release for this compatibility, do so. And then with this energy, this dream of your future, allow yourself to go forward in your path to this reality. And invite anyone through the highest frequency of love that wishes to befriend you, connect with you, go forward with you, with this adventure, invite them along. Invite them to meet with you wherever on your life path you need them or their path and yours would naturally cross or it would be of a wonderful, mutually joyous moment. Just let yourself wander forward this vision. Allow your friends to be magnetically attracted to you and this fabulous experience. guys are getting really good at this. So now we will try a third time. And this time we will do the exact same process, but all the while we will tap our EFT points, the karate chop, the top of the head, above the eyebrows, the outer of the eyes, under the eyes, the nose, the lip, underneath the collarbones. You may find this time you also are tapping your heart a bit. And back to the karate chop. You may find the fingers going. Do the tapping on your own. And if you find your fingers wish to tap any other places at the same time, be it your temples or you can include more tapping spots if you feel inspired to do so. So allow yourself to be where you are in your life. And you may feel almost like you're a little elevated from where you were when you started this, that you were a little like freer or lighter or feeling greater impetus to make things happen. Invite your soul or your subconscious to bring a goal for you, an inspiration, a destination, a dream, anything, anything at all that you go, oh, that would be fun. I would like that. Anything at all, whether it's realistic or not, doesn't matter. Wonderful. Resonate with this vision, this dream. Just observe it, look at it. Don't worry about the technicalities of how things will happen or is it realistic. Just enjoy 
enjoy, and go forward. Go forward with this. Let it fill you and flow back to where you are now so that the present and the future are one, that that energy is flowing through you, filling you, filling your home, filling the space where you are now with this wonderful creative future vision. If you have any distresses or blocks, Acknowledge them with gratitude. Give them permission to release or to become compatible with this new visionary energy. Being one with this inspiration Tapping all over your body, awakening your neurological senses. Look again to this future vision, this inspiration, this dream. Allow yourself to go forward on your path. Go forward, ever forward to your vision. And as you do so, invite anyone who is compatible with this vision to join you as you are going forward on your life path. Invite your friends to find you. Invite your friends to connect with you on the highest frequency of mutual appreciation and support pure friendship. Just dream on this. Do another few rounds of tapping. Open. Ready to go forward with your new life, your friends. Mutual support and love, harmony. And then say to yourself, I love myself. I am a wonderful person. I'm very brave and interesting. I look forward to my fabulous friends that will value me for who I am. Be honest with me and support me just as I will value them for who they are. Be honest with them and support them as we go forward together with love and friendship and delightful harmony.
complete your final round of tapping, wherever you are, when you finish your karate chop, give yourself a hug and hug all of your friends and your life path. Hug all of the dreams that you are manifesting. Oh my word, you are wonderful. You are wonderful. And wonderful people are excited. They may not even know why they're excited, but I guarantee at this moment, there are wonderful people like, I feel excited. I feel like there's someone out there that I am ready to meet. I guarantee this is happening because I have seen this happen. This has happened, therefore it can happen. So, For all of my friends who are here with me on Zoom, stay here. And for all of our friends who joined us on Facebook, thank you so much. Um, and if you want to continue with us, I have the link to this class series um, there in the comments. If you're welcome to join us, we have three more powerful classes on manifesting for self, manifesting for those you love, manifesting for planetary healing, and then we will have a full moon group manifestation ceremony. So there's actually four more, three classes and the ceremony. We're just getting started, guys. <laughs> so if you joined us on Facebook, follow the link so that if you want, you can continue with us because going to be pretty awesome. And um, thank you. And for everyone on Zoom, stay there.